So now that we know what a first order control system is, let's now see the time response of a first order control system to certain standard test signals. My name is Rishi Ramju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering community where I'm a AC for you. So first let us see the time response of a first order control system to a unit step signal. So in order to obtain the time response of a first order control system, what we do is that we now apply certain standard test signals as input over here. So this is the general representation of a first order control system. So in the previous video I've explained what you refer to as a first order control system. If you haven't watched that video, please do watch it and leave the link in the description below. So a first order control system is a control system in which the maximum power of s in the denominator is 1. So this is the general representation of a transfer function of a first order control system. So here now in the input over here when we apply certain test signals we would get a particular time response. So here when we apply a particular unit step signal as the input whatever we get as the output is simply the time response of this particular first order control system to the unit step signal. As simple as that guys. So now let us now apply a particular unit step signal as input over here. So we know the fact that unit step signal is given as u of t is equal to 1 for t greater than or equal to 0 and u of t is equal to 0 when t is less than 0. So I've explained the various standard test signals. If you guys haven't watched that video, I'll leave the link to that video in the description below. So here the value of u of t is given as u of t is equal to 1 when t is greater than or equal to 0 and u of t is equal to 0 when t is less than 0. So now let us apply this particular unit step signal as the input. So here because this is in the time domain here we would get r of t is equal to u of t is equal to 1 when t is greater than or equal to 0. So here we take all the values for t greater than or equal to 0. We are not considering the case when t is less than 0 because for all the values for which t is less than 0 the value of u of t is equal to 0. So here now we have r of t is equal to u of t is equal to 1 for t greater than or equal to 0. But 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 here the input is given as r of s. So now in order to convert this from the time domain to the frequency domain what we do is that we now take the Laplace transform of this particular r of t. So therefore r of s is equal to Laplace transform of r of t. That is r of s is equal to the Laplace transform of u of t that is the unit step signal but u of t is equal to 1 for t greater than or equal to 0. So therefore this is equal to the Laplace transform of 1 but the Laplace transform of 1 is given as 1 divided by s. So here therefore we have obtained the value of r of s which is 1 divided by s. So here we are supposed to find the value of c of s. So here we know for a fact that the relationship between c of s and r of s is given by the transfer function because the transfer function t of s is given as t of s is equal to c of s divided by r of s that is the output divided by the input. So here we have obtained the value of this as 1 divided by 1 plus s tau. So here this is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus s tau. So here we are supposed to find the value of c of s. So here therefore what we obtain is that c of s is equal to r of s into 1 divided by 1 plus s tau. But here we know the value of r of s which is given as 1 divided by s. So therefore this would thus become 1 divided by s multiplied by. So here we have to write this in terms of s. So that is the coefficient of s must be 1. So therefore let us now take tau common outside. So therefore this thus would become 1 divided by tau into tau. So therefore on taking this tau to the numerator we would get 1 divided by tau divided by s plus 1 divided by tau. 
So now here, what we are supposed to find is that we are supposed to find the time response. So here, in order to convert this C of S to C of T, all we have to do is find the inverse Laplace transform of this particular C of S. So therefore, to find the inverse Laplace transform, we have to split this into two partial fractions. So therefore, let 1 divided by S into 1 by 2 divided by S plus 1 by 2 be equal to A divided by S plus B divided by S plus 1 by 2. So therefore, on taking the LCM, we would get this is equal to S into S plus 1 by 2, the whole in the denominator, and the numerator we would get AS plus A by 2 on multiplying this over here, plus B into S. So now here, what we observe is that on the numerator here, we have 1 divided by tau. And now here we have AS plus A divided by tau plus BS. So now, firstly on equating the constants, we would get 1 divided by tau is equal to, the constant here is equal to, here we have two terms of s but only one constant that is a by tau. So this is equal to a by tau. So this implies that the value of a is equal to 1. And now here, similarly on equating the value of s, that is on equating the coefficients of s, we would get a plus b is equal to, here there are no coefficients of s, so this is equal to 0. And now therefore, because a is equal to 1, we get b is equal to minus 1. So therefore, on substituting the value of a and b over here, we would get c of s is equal to 1 by s minus 1 divided by s plus 1 by 2. So now, in order to find the value of c of t, all we have to do is find the inverse Laplace transform of this. So therefore, C of t is equal to the inverse Laplace transform of this. But the inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s is given as 1. So this is 1 minus. And now the inverse Laplace transform of 1 divided by s plus a is simply e raised to minus a t. So this thus would become e raised to minus 1 by tau into t. So therefore, this thus is simply what you refer to as the time response of a first order control system to a unit step signal. As simple as that guys. So I've done a detailed video on how to find the inverse Laplace transform. So if you guys haven't watched that video yet, please do watch it. I'll leave the link in the description below. So therefore, by simply finding the inverse Laplace transform, we now have obtained the time response of a first order control system to a unit step signal. So here next, 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 next. Over here, we have a particular error signal, error value. Over here like this. So the error signal is given as E of t is equal to R of t minus C of t. But here R of t is the value U of t, which is one. That is the input. We are giving a unit step signal as input. So that is one minus here c of t is this particular value that is 1 minus e raised to minus 1 by tau into t so therefore this now would become e raised to minus 1 by tau into t so this is the value of the error that we would get when we give the input as a unit step signal so this thus is simply the time response of a first order control system when we give a unit step signal as the input to it. As simple as that. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as the time response of a first order control system to a unit step signal. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.